Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm of course Big Vale, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to triple with Queen Charge Hybrid at Town Hall 14. So we'll start this off with just a quick planning session, and then I will actually do the live attack. Normally I do it in replays for the first one, but I'll do it live because I'm quite comfortable and confident that I can take this base down. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do a Queen Charge Hybrid, of course, but how are we going to do it? So we're going to start off with a Queen Charge, breaking in here and taking out, basically I'm looking for probably that. That is probably what I'm going for here, including dealing with the CC. We're also going to be dropping our King in probably here, and I think I'll get him to wrap around here and break in towards a single compartment and try and clear all of that out. I might need to use a freeze spell. We'll see. We'll see. So alongside the king, we're also going to drop the siege barracks in somewhere around here. Just so we've got that pecker and the wizards helping by filtering in and supporting the king. But also it's going to mean we've got those hogs coming in as well. So we do have nine hogs inside our siege barracks. And guys, I will share the army comp for this attack with you. Um, we'll do that in the description. So usual place. Okay, and what you can see here is a really nice entry point for the hybrid through here. I'll just get rid of the other stuff. Through here. Through here. So we're going to be sending the hybrid in when the queen's taking down that town hall. In through here. And the path I'm expecting it to follow. Something like this. Now it's not perfect. Typically with hybrid, the kind of path in that you'd like to have is sort of like a like a C shape or just like a bent line. You don't want to have like a really complicated path for it, ideally. But the reason why I'm doing it this way is because with hybrid, one of the most important things to do is to get a really strong funnel. It's not like with Queen Charge Hogs. And by the way, I've done a Queen Charge Hog guide. If you want to check it out, it's just up there. Queen Charge Hogs is like the entry level version of this. Hybrid is a little bit more advanced. And the reason for that, honestly, is because you've got two different troop types as your main push. So Hogs and Miners. Hogs and Miners have different ideas of what they want to go for. So they are likely to split up and you're likely to end up with, say for example, we did hybrid in this way. You're likely to end up with miners going around the outside and your hogs bouncing around the defense in the middle before running off to the core. Miners will be nowhere near them and won't, you won't have that synergy. So um, yeah, we're going to look to try and do it the complicated way. I'm not going to be doing it the complicated way for any of the other attacks on replay, but this is just me sort of explaining my rationale behind it so anyway town hall's down so we've got our hybrid working its way in and the deployment for the hybrid by the way is going to be miners first hogs second warden rc and the reason you do miners first is because typically on these bases you've got trash on the outside here and you want your miners to be targeting that before the hogs go in Again, because you want the hogs and miners to stay together. If you drop the hogs in first, they're going to rush ahead and the miners are going to still be dealing with this trash on the outside while the hogs are just powering through and they've got no real support from those miners. Um, talking about spells and warden ability, I would say you probably won't have any rages left. I don't think I will. But if I do, then I'll use it on the hybrid after the queen charge, of course. I'll use it on the hybrid under the eternal tome. And the reason you do that is you don't want to combine a rage spell with a heal because they, they're kind of counterproductive to each other. The heal spell, you want your troops to stay in it for as long as possible. The rage will push them out of it. So the Eternal Tome is the perfect excuse to use that rage spell. They're protected, they're invincible. Get them to power through and crush everything really quickly. Um, heal spells, I'll use them in high pressure areas. So multi-infernos, maybe in front of scatter shots. And if I've got any freezes left over, then they're typically best used for scatter shots, I guess. But it's uh, something that you can make a decision on on the fly. Anyway, you know my plan, you know my pathing, you know my thought process. Let's get into a live attack and let's see if we can make this a beautiful example of hybrid. And let's see if I can try and not make a fool of myself. Okay, right, we're in, we're in. So, okay, queen goes there. Uh, let's uh, maybe drop a wizard on this. Uh, the queen shot it anyway. Okay, super wall break in, and we can get a healers in. So healers down, and we're pushing in now. We're going to need a rage spell here. And yeah, an invis, definitely an invis. All right, single's going to go down. 
Perfect. Can we get this king dealt with under the rage? Let's get a headhunter down. Nice, nice, nice. All right, king on the lab, and we're getting to work up and around. And we're going to use the siege barracks as well, so we need to keep one eye on it. Partial CC pull. Okay. Siege Barracks is down. Queen is stepping up nicely. I need to keep an eye on it here. CC's coming out. Let's freeze it up. We got the Headhunter separated from the Hound really nicely there. Uh, King and... Oh, wow. Pekka and the Wizards are all filtering into that comp too. That's perfect. We're going to clear it out easily here. Queen dealing with the Hound. Let's drop that poison. That was actually a really nice poison drop. We captured... Actually, it wasn't that nice. We missed a few pups. We'll pretend it was nice. All right, Queen stepping up. We'll rage her. Done. Okay, raged. Um, oh, Hog's coming in from the Siege Barracks already, so that's our cue to start the hybrid. So we're moving in. Hopefully, we've got it pathed enough, so we're going to get the exact pattern that we were talking about. Heal down. Everything's moving in. Those Teslas, I hope they don't throw off my pathing too much. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to need that Eternal Tome. Done. Done. And we've got one heal left. And I think we're going to use that in the 9 o'clock scatter. Yeah, we are. We've got Miners in there. Let's do it. So, okay, okay, okay. We still have Queen ability. Still have RC ability. Let's deal with those Mortars on the outside. They're going to throw off Pathing if we let them stand. So, Mortars gone. We still have the RC ability. That's going to get forced, actually. The Eagle's locked on. RC ability will fire off, but... That's fine, that one shot at the eagle. I guess it took some damage earlier on that I missed. And that is looking to me, my friends, like a three setup. So we've got what, two arch towers and a mortar left over. We have a queen ability. She's shooting a wall. Where's that queen wall breaker skin when you need it? Um Okay. Yeah, that's job done. That's job done. Mission accomplished, guys. We got the triple. With about 20 seconds remaining. About 20 seconds left on the clock. I'm going to call that a success. So, typically with hybrid, you're looking at sending in your hybrid troops with maybe no less than a minute and 40 left on the clock. You can get away with it. There's going to be exceptions if you've taken out more and your pathing is really precise. But a minute and 40 left on the clock should give you enough time to get the job done. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Excellent, excellent outcome, and it worked exactly to the plan. So, uh, yeah, nothing I can say except BVOP. Let's get into a couple of replays now, and then we'll just talk through them as we go, rather than going through intricate planning. Okay, and you can see a teaser base here, guys. These are usually the bane of everyone's Legends Day, and I'm going to show you how I dealt with it. So we're going to start off with a balloon, well, two balloons actually on the top side, because the clan castle is right here. I want to pull out those CC troops early, because I'm not going to charge the Town Hall. Don't be ridiculous, guys. I'm not going to do that. I'm not crazy. What I'm trying to do here, and it kind of goes a little bit wrong. I'm trying to break the Queen in at 7 o'clock, and you'll see a Wall Breaker come in very soon. There we go. But it was dropped a second too late, and the Queen was then pulled back around again. So at this point, I'm left with the Queen walking a different way. Luckily, it's a symmetrical base, so not going to be a huge issue for us. We're dealing with that CC with the Poison. And right here, guys, I'm going to take a calculated risk. So, I can see that there's quite a distance between where the Queen's going to be and the barracks. So I made the assumption that the Queen was going to start shooting at that wall. And she did. She did. For once, the Queen shot at a wall that we actually wanted her to shoot at. Baby Dragon down on the barracks just to start clean up a little bit over on the 4 o'clock side. And Queen's going to bust through and then we'll use our Wall Breaker to get into the next layer. So we're going to drop our king in over at 8 o'clock as well. So the king over at 8 and the siege barracks will go down at 9. And the reason we're doing that is because we're trying to build that funnel working through the base from sort of 7, wrapping its way around up towards 12 o'clock. Now I'm going to say here that I didn't expect the hybrid to get all the way to the town hall. And it didn't. It didn't make it. And that's because that's unrealistic. The town hall's right on the outside of the base. But what I was banking on is the Queen surviving all the way through. She still has ability, we've got our Rage down, the Hybrid is doing a really good job of aggroing defences, taking out basically most of the stuff that could harm the Queen. So you can see the Hogs there taking out the air defence that was picking off our healers. 
We've got the Hogs from the Siege Barracks finally coming in and we've already done a lot of work. We've got our Rage Spell down in that real danger area north of the core. Queen is pushing away through and basically we're going to end up with both scatter shots down, both Expos down, the defending heroes down and there's not going to be much left. The Queen will have to do some clean up towards the end but it's literally just going to be the Town Hall, the Clan Castle and the Tesla. The hybrid troops, because we pathed them beautifully, they had a real easy, easy ride of working through the base and crushing everything in their wake. And yeah, you can see our troops have pretty much died off now. We've got a couple of miners there. They're not going to do anything, unfortunately. But the queen still has that ability and she's going to work her way up to 12 and finish things off. We've even got the warden and the owl just doing a little bit of chip damage over on the clan castle. And that's a GG well played BV. Guys, that is a three star. We kind of swagged a minion there. I'm not going to shout about that too much because, like, it's a minion. But that is a three star. That's typically how you would do it. The only thing that I would say you would do differently is maybe drop the wall breaker down here a little bit earlier to try and get the queen in and not have to take that chance that she will shoot through a wall. Because you know what the queen's AI can be like? She's kind of unpredictable. Next time I do this, maybe if I did this again, the queen would just carry on walking and she wouldn't go through that wall. So call it an element of luck, but it was it was owed to me after I missed that first wall break. Well, I'll get on to one more replay, guys, just to wrap this up and give you a different style of base to, uh, to try and learn from. Okay, so what we have here is a... It's a legend base, I guess. It's just a typical legend base. So what I'll do before I hit the play button, I'll just tell you the very basic pattern that I'm looking for here, just because it may look a bit chaotic as it's going on. So I'm looking to charge the queen into this multi-compartment, take out all of that, also take out stuff behind it as well, including the eagle. That's, that's actually a pretty good bonus. We are going to try and get the king to wrap around here and clear out all of this. And then that leaves us with beautiful pathing for the hybrid, which will look something like that. So I know this is going to mean us finishing on the town hall and two scatter shots. It's not, it's not perfect. It's not ideal. And if you can charge the town hall, brilliant. But I didn't feel that the town hall charge value was that great here. Because so what? If we did charge the town hall, what are we going to get out of it? We'll take out the town hall. We'll probably lose our queen along the way. So we'll have got out, what, maybe that much value from a queen charge? Then what? There's no pathing at all. The pathing is horrible for the rest of the base. So it made sense to finish on the town hall. And yes, that'll probably mean that we end up with no hybrid. In fact, it does mean we've got no hybrid left by the end of the attack. But it does mean that because we're protecting the queen so well, she's still alive and the queen she is an absolute monster if you can, uh, can control her and keep her going. So Queen working in towards the uh, multi-inferno. I nearly had a bit of a mishap there for Queen walking out, but the baby dragon comes in clutch. Queen goes in, and we're just going to look to protect the Queen as you would. Rage spell goes down. You know, we've got other stuff to support. We don't have the um, invis that I showed you in the, in the attack that I did alive. That's just the tweak that I made, so... You can swap out a uh, free spell for an invis. I find that it can be more versatile, but it's up to you which way you go with it. I actually quite like using the invis though. Uh, but yeah, pathing's pretty much built here already. Queen is going to get through the eagle. King's working his way up and around. Siege barracks goes in at one. So we've got the pecker and the wizards joining, plus those late hogs that are going to come in. And now the hybrid is going to follow that gorgeous, gorgeous path through the base. Queen is still rocking and rolling through. She's uh, hanging tough there. I was just, was that like a song? I feel like it was. Anyway, anyway, we've got the uh, hybrid pushing through. Rage down on the queen. We're holding on to that queen ability. We still have the eternal tome as well, plus a uh, heal spell. And we are going to use a heal now. I probably should have tomed, to be honest, but I was trying to hold on to that until we got a bit closer to the town hall. So I basically tomed and healed at the same time. We've got the CC pulled out, so we'll poison those super minions. And there we go, guys. The town hall is going to go down to the hybrid troops. The queen is just going to have to do some cleanup for the back end of the attack. But we do have queen ability. 
RC ability is going to go off pretty, pretty soon. Is it? There we go. RC ability is forced by the king. And it just gets a little bit of extra damage. But queen's still up. The healers are still on her. We've got a couple of wizards in play. But they'll die off soon enough. And it is inevitably going to be a three star. So 30 seconds to go. And it's crazy that only five buildings took 30 seconds to take out. But well, that's what happens when you've only got a queen going through. But the warden's helping a little bit too. He's chipping away at the defending queen. We now break through. And... That is all she wrote, guys. That is going to be a three star on Angel de Fuego, which I think probably means Angel of Fire. I don't know if we've got any native Spanish speakers that can correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it means. Anyway, that is how I like to hybrid this style of base. And yeah, it's, it's generally quite effective. For anyone who watched my Legends League stream earlier today, they may dispute that. But, um, but yeah... You know, it takes practice to get hybrid right. It's not one of those attacks that is just pick it up, drop stuff in, and you'll get a triple. It's not like that. You do need a high degree of skill to pull this off effectively and consistently. And you know what? I'm going to keep practicing at it because I really enjoy doing this attack. And I'm sure when you guys do it as well, you'll enjoy it too. And that, my friends, is how you Queen Charge Hybrid your way to the top. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Also, if you've got any suggestions about how I could possibly improve my own hybrid, you know, I'm all for taking advice from you guys too. Do let me know in the comments. Also, let me know how you got on if you tried my method too. And finally, if you don't already, please do subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be made aware when I go live or when I post a video in the future. We do one or the other pretty much every single day. Until next time, much love. Big Veil is out.